Hello Collective and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin and today we're going to do a past, present, future read. We're just going to do a general read, find out what spirit guides want to say, what message they have for you, basically what you need to know. So let's get into it. I do want to say thank you so much for liking, watching, subscribing, commenting. I genuinely appreciate your support. I hope you enjoy your reading. Let's do it. So the overall vibe, ooh, I got this for um, someone else too, can't remember who it was though, um, is Building Blocks, card number 28. Looks like you're rebuilding something. Looks like you're working. Let's use this deck today. I'm going to change it up a little bit. So what are you working on? What are you building here? What's going on? Talk to us. So what is happening? It is past, present, future, please. And what does this person, these people, this collective, what do they need to know? What is their story? So the recent past is the Ace of Swords in reverse. Here's the page of wands, but it's anchoring it. Let's find out. It's in the middle is the hermit in reverse, then the page of wands. In the presence, we have the knight of cups in reverse. Oh, the ace of wands. Both your aces are in reverse here. Okay, the ace of wands in reverse, right in the middle, and the heart of your spread. The eight of swords in reverse. All right, what is the near future here? What is the near future? What's coming up? Let's hope it improves. And we got some aces or something in the upright here. What is the near future? What do you want to say? What can they expect to come their way? What do we need to know? These cards are slippery. They always like slip out of my hands. Okay, so we have the sun in reverse, the two of wands in reverse, and the ten of cups. All right, so it ends. Great. Let's see. The overall vibe theme to go with building blocks is the fool. So you have definitely felt a delay in this new beginning. There's something that you have been working on and working on and working on, and you felt like it is not happening. Um, it has definitely been delayed. It is not going your way. You Maybe you don't understand why I want to say that for some reason, but let's see if the cards want to talk to us about it. So we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So whoa, this one to follow, I'm not going to take it, but the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. So... Definitely something didn't get off the ground. You're trying to get to the bottom of something. What is this Ace of Swords in reverse? The Empress, the Four of Pentacles. You can't figure out why it's not going the way that it should. So whatever it is in the her and Five of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Swords. Whatever is whatever it is that you're working on um, and you're trying to, whether it's, you know, trying to pull in love, whether you're trying to pull in a new business, new clients, start a new company, whatever it is that you're working on and you're holding on to it, you know, it can be successful, but right now the success is delayed. It is not going the way that you want it to go. We have the sun in reverse, ace of wands in reverse, ace of swords in reverse. We have the fool in reverse. It is not going the way you want it to go. Um, and you're not opposed. I see that you're trying, you're flexible. I feel like you're not opposed to trying something new, trying to figure it out. Right now, I feel like you're trying, or in the recent past, you're trying to figure out why. What can I do different? What, okay, I don't want to take them, but it's telling me to point it out. The Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups. So I feel like this is something that you've wanted since childhood, something that you're really emotionally connected to, something that you really tr you're tied to this. Um, so what is this Hermit in reverse? What would you like to say about that? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're in the Knight of, you're not going to stop working on this. You're, you're not going to sit back and do nothing. It's like, you've worked so hard, you're not going to let your work go to waste here. It's like, no, you're, you're, you're a persistent motherfucker. I can say that. Like, I feel like you're really, really persistent. You could be like an Ursi, maybe you're a Virgo, Capricorn, you know, they're really hard workers, but, or you have that somewhere in your chart, but I feel like you're very dedicated. You're not going to stop working on this. You're just going to keep waiting. Even though it's not going well, you don't care. So that's the recent past. What is this page of wands? What do you want to say about this page of wands? <laughs> is that the magician? It is. So the two of pen. Oh, the hanged man. Yeah, like you're trying to change your perspective. You're trying to create balance. You're trying to mix it up. You're trying to manifest it here. I feel like you're trying to do different things. You know, you're looking at your competitors. What are they doing that's giving them success? You know, you feel like you're really doing your research. You're really trying to... Maybe it is about business because I just said that. Um, but you're trying to change your perspective. Hangman in reverse. You're not opposed to change your perspective. You're not opposed to trying something new. But the good thing about the magician is when the magician shows up, it means you have the elements. So if you're doing something that you can change, or if you're doing something that's blocking things or not pre preventing the success, you have the skills to change that, to manifest that difference. So the page of wands can also represent messages. So maybe somebody has come in with an offer. Um... 
let's see if that's what that is. Is there an offer here? Is there a message? Is it just, okay, death and rebirth, the eight of swords, the tower, the hanged man, and the sun in reverse. So um, I don't feel like it's an external message. I feel like it's like an internal, like a, it's going to sound really weird. I know, I feel like it's your higher self telling you. You finally figured out maybe um, why you've been trapped and why it hasn't been going, why you've been feeling stuck, why you have the delay. You're going to have a major change and transformation here. Um, you finally just, I, in the recent past, I feel like you, maybe, I'm hearing, maybe some of you, I don't feel like this is for all of you, but maybe some of you just absolutely hit rock bottom and you're ready to climb back up. Um, and that's what this building is. It just, it got to the point where it's like, you have to change. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is going to, you're going to do it. You're going to get out of this prison and you're going to change everything because you're done not getting what you want. And I feel like you are going to, you are going to succeed because look at that. That's the Ten of Cups at the end here. So in the present moment though, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Eight of Swords all in reverse. So what is this Knight of Cups in reverse? What is this Knight of Cups in reverse? The Nine of Cups. The Ace of Cups. And the Six of Swords. And the world in... I feel like you're... Um, yeah. It's like once you had that message, that inner knowing, that that tower moment, that transformation moment, that lightning bolt hit you moment, um, you know exactly what you have to do to get this off the ground. So the Six of Swords too is my transition card, but it's also my spiritual test. So if you're, this is like a test, <laughs> something you've been going through, you know, the universe doesn't just hand you what you want. They test you to see if you're willing to work through it. If you're determined enough to get through those obstacles, if you're ready to build and build and build, and you are, that cycle is done. It's changing for you. Things are changing. You've got the ace up right now because you have figured out what you have to do. It's like you figured out where you were going wrong. You figured out what you were doing that wasn't working. And that's all going to change. The eight of swords, you're no longer in that self-imposed prison. You're no longer overthinking it because you figured it out. So in the near future, we have the sun, the two of wands, and then the ten of cups. So this delay... This imbalance. What do you want to say about the sun in reverse? Do you want to say anything about that? Strength. <laughs> you have found the courage to change things. So the delay in your happiness, the delay in success, you have found that courage within to fight through this. What about this two of wands in reverse? I feel like with the two of wands, yeah. Um, so... The two of wands in reverse is clarified by the magician in reverse and the nine of pentacles. So it's like you've made the choice to change your star. It's so weird to change your stars. It's from a knight's tale. It's that movie from a knight's tale with Heath Ledger. But you've made the choice to change your stars. You've made the choice to do things differently. You've made the choice to manifest something different. You're finally doing things differently. And that's what's going to give you your ten of cups. So do you want to say anything else about this Ten of Cups? That's ultimate happiness. That's ultimate in abundance, emotional. Yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. You stood your ground. You stuck through this. You were resilient. There's a Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Like, yeah, it's funny because we got that there and then we got that there. So it's like you stood your ground. You stayed, you stayed consistent. You stayed working on this. This is very important to you. You got your victory. You got your clarity. Things are, you know, no longer like clear as mud, right? You know, um, you figured it out. You've got, you ignited your passion because I feel like you were dedicated. Um, you were determined. You didn't give up. You didn't walk away. You didn't stop working on this. You were consistent and you were flexible and that gave you the success and that brought you exactly what you wanted so in the near future these what you've been building you built pretty strong foundations here and i feel like you're going to start to see the fruits of your labor so that's really great um let's just let's i don't really have anything else to add to that usually i do some oracle messages but i i don't um all right let's just get your yes or no question that's what i have for you so um i hope you enjoy your reading it sounds amazing okay they, let me just give you a healing one we'll give you one healing message and then we'll give you your yes or no so you are an I. Use this higher aspect of yourself to redeem your shadow aspects.
All right, just because I feel like I had to give one oracle message. All right, let's get your yes or no question. This is beautiful. I wish you the best of luck at getting that Ten of Cups. What's the answer to your question? The answer is no. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.